Greetings, cats and kittens, and welcome to Libby's Lullabies. Today, I am going to be reading The Heart and the Bottle by Oliver Jeffers. Once, there was a girl, much like any other, whose head was filled with all the curiosities of the world. The thoughts of the stars, with wonder at the sea. She took delight in finding new things. Until the day she found an empty chair. Feeling unsure, the girl thought the best thing was to put her heart in a safe place, just for the time being. So, she put it in a bottle and hung it around her neck. And that seemed to fix things, at first. Although in truth nothing was the same, she forgot about the stars and stopped taking notice of the sea. She was no longer filled with all the curiosities of the world and didn't take much notice of anything, other than how heavy and awkward the bottle had become. But at least her heart was safe. It might never have occurred to the girl what to do had she not met someone smaller and so curious about the world. There was a time when the girl would have known how to answer her, but not now, not without her heart. And it was right at that moment that she decided to get it back out of the bottle. But she didn't know how. She couldn't remember. And nothing seemed to work. The bottle couldn't be broken. It just bounced and rolled right down to the sea. But there, it occurred to someone smaller and still curious about the world that she might know a way. And it just so happened. She did. The heart was put back where it came from. And the chair wasn't empty anymore. But the bottle was. So, what do you think? Good idea or bad idea putting your heart in a bottle? Sure, you may no longer feel the pain or the hurt or the emptiness. But you no longer will be able to feel wonder or curiosity or joy. The decision is yours. I want you to enjoy the rest of your day or your evening, your week, or your weekend. And I will see you next time on Libby's Love.